Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, a few weeks ago I had a request from one of my viewers um, if I could review this particular uh, multi-tool here. I'll just get it out of the box. There we go, it comes in a little bag as well, a little cellophane bag as well. Check that over there for a minute. And here's the little tool. I'm sure by now if you requested this tool you will have recognised it. It is the, uh, an 11 in 1 multi-tool. As you can see it's got uh, quite a few tools tucked away in there. Um, before we do anything else let's uh, take a closer look at it shall we? Okay so you can see it's uh, predominantly black. We've got some little uh, nicely uh, cut out holes here just to give it some uh, detail. Got some interesting little screws holding it together. Um, it's uh, umpteen layers. It's one, two, three, four, five layers deep. We've got quite a few tools going on in here too, look. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll start with this fold-out carabiner here. Also on the top we have a corkscrew, this large sewing needle. We have this fingernail style file. Then we have this um, awl. And then finally we have this uh, little Phillips screwdriver here. Moving over to the uh, larger tools, we have a uh, slip joint knife for the main blade. This has stainless stamped in it. Next up we have a wood saw. Then we have a uh, fish scaler and hook disgorger. A pair of scissors, a can opener, and finally bottle opener and screwdriver. Mrs Rathbone will be trying out the uh, bottle opener later on. Right then, we'll run through a few dimensions here, but there are so many tools and bits and pieces on this thing. I'll just give you a few measurements that I measured. Um, closed, as you see it here, is 92.5 millimetres. Uh, got the width at 20 millimetres. And this uh, dimension here is 37 millimetres. The uh, main blade on this thing is 66 millimetres long with a cutting edge of 54 millimetres. Let's pop it on the scales. It's four and a quarter ounces or 123 grams. A few size comparisons then. My San Renmu 7098. The HX Outdoors DD002. And coming to the channel very soon, the Zanmax 1301. Okay, so this little thing comes with a whole bunch of tools, including this useful little uh, carabiner here, so that you can, like, you know, either hang it off your keyring, you could probably hang it off your uh, trouser belt loop as well, uh, or off a backpack with the right loop on it. Uh, we've got a corkscrew, although I don't know uh, as as much use for corkscrews these days, but um, the corkscrew is there. Uh, we have this um, sewing eye. They're quite easy to open up so far. Open and close. They're all just slip joints. Um, on here also we have these. These ones are a bit tightly packed together so you sometimes have to go through one or two to get to the one you want like this uh, fingernail file here. Um, we have a Phillips screwdriver and we have an awl for making holes in bits and pieces as well. The uh, main blade is also a slip joint, it's non-locking so this thing should be a legal UK carry and it is uh, quite nice to hold as well actually. Are there any hot spots on this for me? Not that I can feel at all, no. What about the, um, the scissors, what are they like? Yep, they seem to work alright too. Um, we have also what looks like a properly machined um, wood saw. Let's get a close-up on those teeth. There they are. They look like they've been properly machined to me, just like the teeth on this San Remu saw here. For all you fishermen out there, we have a uh, fish scaler and dis a hook disgorger too. This little uh, can opener here and this little uh, screwdriver bottle opener. Right, I think it's time we did some cutting up. And for that we're going to need the services of Bob the Bits a bag. A bag of bits, Bob. 
just try this sheet of paper first, see, because I've not touched this blade, this is as it came to me from the factory. See, that's not too bad. I've had a lot worse, I think. It's a bit rough, but uh, yeah, not too bad. Get that out of the way. Here's the cardboard again. What's it like chopping through cardboard? No, chop that up all right. This will be the good test of how long it holds the edge. Chopping through a load of cardboard and stuff. I'll chuck that over there for a minute. Uh, and then we'll move on to a good few layers of cheapy rope. Get them in there. Yep, uh, one bit flew on the floor though. Did it cut it? There it is. What the hell? I don't know. <laughs> right in. Moving on, we'll have a go at the uh, speaker styles cable. Let's get that folded over. Can it chop it? Just about, almost got through it. It was slipping out my hands a little bit, guys, but there we go, it's done it. Finish that off a treat. The uh, 24020 high gauge stuff. I'll give myself plenty to get hold of this time. Right in. Have a look. Yeah, it does take a bit of force, so I don't think it's all you know 100% sharp, but it's uh, sharp enough. It's cutting stuff. Let's have a go with um, Trader Joe's Mule the Tapeworm then. See, because this stuff is uh, used for pulling uh, rather large cables along underground uh, ducts, so it's got to be really strong. This stuff. See how well it chops through this then. Uh, it's had a go, look, it slid off a little bit. But it's done it. It's a bit rough, as you can see, but it's done it. Can we do any sort of penetration test with this, do you suppose? Let's have a look. Yeah, we'll cut it very easily that away. Because going with the the um, the strings, as you can see, look. Hmm. Here is our old friend, the uh, chopping block. Let's get a bit of the old... Um, Take where I'm going. Um, yeah, it's done it. So it's a bit rough, but it's done it. Cheapy rope. What will it do with that? It cuts through that cheap. It cuts through the cheapy rope a lot easier. Look. What about the yellow stuff? Yep, it's done through that as well. Okay. Cable. I'm struggling with the cable a bit. Yeah, well, we'll do cutting through copper, won't it? I think you'll find. God, blimey, yeah. Uh, where's the heavier gauge stuff? Here it is. Yes, it doesn't want to chop through that either very well. It's sort of given up chopping through copper. I wonder if we've taken the edge off of it. I don't think so. I think it just doesn't do, just doesn't like cutting through uh, copper. It's done it. What can we do with the scissors? Well, paper shouldn't be too much of a problem, I wouldn't have thought. Let's have a look. Yep, chopping paper's okay then. Get that out of it. Right in. Yep, chops paper quite nicely. What about the cardboard? Is it up to chopping cardboard? Well, it's a bit of a struggle. But it's done it. What about with the grain? Yeah, they are struggling a little bit. But there we go, that's done it. Uh, cheapy rope. Can we cut rope with it? Nope, it's fell off the side. Oops, fell right off the side of the uh, scissors. No, it's just about done it. Uh, I wonder if there's enough uh, tapeworm left. Very much doubt it will cut this stuff. No. Oh, it's having a go. Yeah, it doesn't really like doing it. It's a bit tough for it. Let's give it one more go with the paper after we've cut copper with it. It's hanging up a little bit, but it's still chopping through the paper, even though we've cut 
copper with it. So what other tools have we got on here then? Well we've got this uh, sewing eye thing here right in. Uh, this bit of cardboard here has got it's folded over and got glue in it and it's tough as old boots for, for knives. It's best. Let's see if we can get this uh, sewing eye through it. Oh. It's gone through, but it did actually, uh, you might have saw it there, it did actually fold it the wrong way a little bit. But it will go through. So you could actually sew this bit of cardboard up if you needed to. So, what else can we do with this then? Well, I'll tell you what, it's got some screwdrivers on it and it's got that wood saw. So I think what we better do is get it down the workshop as soon as possible. Come on, fellas. Here we are in the workshop and the boiler's running. Okay, so first of all, I think we'll give the uh, the knife blade a go on this bit of wood here, see if it's any good at um, making feather sticks. I don't think this bit of wood's all that good, to be honest with you. It's just a cheap, nasty bit of wood. But the um, knife's having a bit of a go at it. Let's have a look over here. Yeah, yes, you could just about feather stick with it, but it's not. Oh, here we go. There we go. Okay, well, let's try a few screws. I've got a couple of Phillips screws here. This one's more like the size of the thing we can uh, we can put in. But we've also got this uh, very much larger screw, and we'll try that one in a minute. Let's get a hole going about here somewhere, like so. Pop the screw in. It's a bit rusty. This screw. How will it fare? Do you suppose? Let's have a look. That seems to be doing all right so far. Anyway, hasn't fallen off yet. No, it's still all right so far. I think this uh, is starting to slip out the uh, head now. Wait a minute. No, it's going all right. I thought it was slipping out there for a second or two. Have we got any? Um, no, there's no looseness in the uh, driver yet. I think it, there we go. Right, that'll do on that one. Now, better we give it a go with this ridiculously large screw. It's not designed for this sort of thing at all, really. It's sending it in though. It's getting a bit tight. And this is not what it's designed to do at all, but uh, it's still going. I'm worried about it coming loose here, but so far it's still all right. This is a humongous great big screw. You're not supposed to be using uh, such a little teeny screwdriver on such a big screw, but it's getting really tight now, so I think what we'll do is before anything physically breaks, which it isn't done, it's still all right. We'll call that a day on that one. How good is the awl? If I can get hold of it. I can feel it uh, wobbling about in the tool, but it's uh there we go. Let's not forget the uh, flat screwdriver here. Uh, we'll try this screw, make a hole for it, and drop him in and see what happens. Back it out a bit so you can actually see what oops, what's going on. I think this screw head might be a bit worn actually. And the screwdriver, as you can maybe able to see there, is a bit on the small side for it. But, oh, it's definitely driving it in. I think we can do with a, a smaller screw, to be honest with you. But uh, it's definitely sending it in there. And unlike the HX Outdoors DD. 002, which is a lot more expensive than this thing, it doesn't appear to be um, splitting the uh, splitting it apart either. That's good. That's not bad. Right, I think that'll do. I think we've proved it. <coughs> nice. And don't forget, boys and girls, I shall be having the Zanmax 1301 out here too. Can opening then. Can it cope with a can? Yes, it can. Oh, very droll. Uh, 
And for the wood saw we'll use this really horrible piece of pallet wood. Horrible stuff this is. I'm sure as you can see it's having a good go guys. Oh, blimey. Nice smell of uh, fresh cut wood in here now. I like that. Ugh. God, it's make me arm ache. God, flipping it. Nearly through. As you can see it took the paint off the blade but it did it. Well I've got to say that's not a bad result for a, a cheapy tool. As there aren't any fishes out here in the workshop I won't be able to test this uh, the fisherman's tool unfortunately guys. Alrighty then let's get the little 11 in 1 multi-tool back to the uh, studio then. So this is 11 in 1 multi-tool from Gearbest and that's the little Bit you use there, the bottle open a bit. Oh. The first struggle is to get it out. <laughs> oh, wow! Yeah, <laughs> well, that was simple. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, then. Yeah, definitely. Good, you like that one? That's a keeper, then. Yep. <laughs> well, that's not bad uh, result for a little tool that costs all of, at the moment, £4.48 or $5.86. Um, it did a whole lot better than the um, HX Outdoors DD002 here, because as we, if you've seen the review of this, you'll remember it splits apart uh, or during the screw driving. <clears throat> this one didn't do that. It's not bad for a cheapie, quite good actually. Uh, it'd be interesting to see how the little uh, Zanmax handles the same tests and we'll be doing that at some point. Okay guys, so uh, what do you think then? <coughs> if you uh, re re requested this review, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it answered all of your questions. Um, don't forget guys, you can subscribe to me on YouTube, that will help the channel no end, thank you very much. You can also click like if you enjoyed the review and you can share it with your friends as well. There's also my uh, Instagram, you can follow me on Instagram too. Uh, you can help support the channel via my Patreon page as well. Thank you very much guys. Uh, down below in the comment, in the um, descriptive text below you will find a very special link to Gearbest. If you click on that link go along and buy anything you like I will get a small commission from that sale and that goes straight back into the channel. I plough that money straight back into the channel to bring you more and interesting bits and pieces. There will also be a, uh, a special affiliate link to this little fellow down there too so if you like it um, you can go along and purchase it from that link. Once again, I get a small commission. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, hopefully, you should find in the descriptive text below there will be a discount code as well. Uh, you can use that to purchase this little fellow and get a little bit of money off of it if you wish. Any saving helps, doesn't it, guys? All right, then, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, I hope you'll come back again soon. And I will catch you here at Rathbone Manor sometime in the near future, then. Laters! Rough.